welcome back everyone today we will solve max counter lesson number four let's start at first we have to read what is the problem what we have to solve you are given and counters okay we should return array that's why we need new array for an example i am taking result and we should define an integer n is the number of integers these are n equal to 5 like this it will be our a return integer after that you are given n counters we need two counters one is increase equal to zero counter max equal to zero initialize set to zero initially set to zero so from the beginning it should be zero that's why i initialize zero now i am using for loop existing array length now what we have to do at first we will check if array values is smaller than or equal to n if it will be true then i should use another nested if a statement because this statement will help to check if existing array element with new element with new array if equal to zero this is our new array and this is our old array if old array inside the new array equal to zero or you can say if a new array element is equal to zero something like this then a result a i minus one equal to here it should be minus one because it will take the length if it equal to 0 and equal to then means increase plus 1 then value should be increased increased by 1 that's why I did increase plus 1 and this is our new array element with old elements old array elements after that what I have to do else if not then what i can do then i have to check like this way a 
it should be increased like this and now i should check also counter max for counter max i should use build in function max and it will check it will check counter max and this value we will check like this and then i should finish first statement if a statement you already finish all the requirement nested if statement now i am working with outer if statement and then increase in case equal to counter max after all those things now i should use another for loop int i equal to 0 i smaller than now i will define new array element like this if result i is smaller than increase then what will happen then i have to initialize increase value finally i should return the result now let's check is it working or not example test is working properly before checking our result i want to recap it again what we did we just recap it then it will be helpful you are given wait look it's written result array should be returned as an array of integers that means it will return array that's why i take at first i took one array variable and i was initially initialized int number number of integers here it's a given integer n equal to 5 like this and after that it's written you have you are given two counters so two counters operating of them it will be of it will operate like this way one that's why i took two variable one is increase variables and initially the value is zero and another one is max counter i took counter max variable and initially the value is zero after that i use for loop and inside the for loop i define old array elements after that i use if statement so this statement i am checking if array element is smaller than or equal to n then 
I should check another statement. That's why I took another if statement inside the if statement, main if statement. And in this if statement, I am checking if new array value, new array is getting from older array elements equal to zero then result i minus one equal to increase plus one because it's written counter x is increased by one so it's increasing by one if the statement is true then else if it's not true then it will be increasing this value that means our new array will be increasing like this way and after that we should check max counter for max counter i used built-in function mat dot max and i define counter max this value after that i use array values array elements later i finish I close the outer if statement and increase equal to counter max. After that, I use another for loop and inside the for loop, I assign new array elements len, array length or new array elements. You can say whatever you want. If new array element is smaller than increase below then result new array elements equal to increase after that we return result i think according to our problem we define all the line step by step i hope it's more clear to understand now we have to check what is our score It takes some time for evaluation. What is the problem? I have to check a small random got expected 10 10 yes, medium random. Okay, I understand what is the problem. What I have to check, I understand it. I think now we will get full score.
yes you see now we received all a score and time complexity is big o n plus m and this is our score okay thank you very much everyone see you our next video until take care bye bye